Namo Buddhaya, Amitofo, Dhamma greetings from Taiwan. I hope you have enjoyed the sound offering by Dr. Frank Tian and myself just now. And my next task is to introduce Vesak in the Mahayana Chinese tradition. Well, if you were to mention this word, Vesak, or the Chinese translation, Wei Sai Jie, to any Buddhist in Taiwan, most likely you're going to get a response like, huh? Okay, but if you are to say Yu Fo Jie, Bathing Buddha Festival to anyone, not just a Buddhist, anyone in Taiwan would know what you're talking about. Well, that's because we celebrate the Buddha's enlightenment on lunar December 8th, the Buddha's Maha Parinibbana on lunar February 15th. No such term as the three in one Vasak. And around the same time of the Vasak day, we celebrate the Buddha's birthday on lunar April 8th in the Mahayana Chinese tradition. Well, here uh, for Mahayana Chinese tradition, I'm referring to countries such as China, including Hong Kong, Macau, and Korea, Japan. Although in Japan, mainland Japan these days, they celebrate according to the solar calendar. Uh, and yet in Okinawa, they stick to the same lunar April 8th. And also in Vietnam and Taiwan, and here's what we do in Taiwan. All the temples will then place a baby, baby Buddha statue in the center of a bathing tub, very elaborated one for sure. Uh, sometimes it's golden with the nine dragons, according to the legend, and many, many flowers. And these days we see a lot of large scale celebrations, such as the one in Korea, I participated in the Buddha's birthday celebration in this lotus lantern, parade um, that's one of the largest walking to the streets for example and they block the whole street in Insadong, downtown Seoul, Korea and in Taiwan too we see the very large so-called occupying activity which brings 25,000 people together here you are not seeing a temple this is not a temple this is uh, you know Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall uh, a public sphere and of course, um, this doesn't take place this year uh, because of COVID-19, it's canceled. So I'm showing you the pictures from last year. And also this is not the lunar April 8th because some large uh, Buddhist organizations such as uh, Siji Foundation, Fo Guang Shan, they decide to celebrate this together with the Mother's Day on the second weekend of May uh, so that they allow more people to join. Whereas most temples in Taiwan uh, still stick to the lunar April 8th, um, it's all around the island. You can see people gathering together to celebrate, or I should say all around the globe, because there are Buddhists practicing in the Mahayana Chinese tradition everywhere in the world. Um, my personal first time in doing the Buddha bathing actually took place in Honolulu, Hawaii, for example, uh, when I became a Buddhist there back in 1993. And usually uh, there's a background music as we bathe the baby Buddha statue. Uh, and it's the verse for bathing Buddhas. If the program time allows, maybe Dr. Kalinga can share a little chunk with you. And this verse goes like, as I now bathe all thus calm ones, Buddha Tathagatas, may pure wisdom adorn the ocean of meritorious virtues. May sentient beings with the five defilements depart from the dust of afflictions and together realize the Tathagata's pure Dharma body. And as most Buddhas in the Mahayana Chinese tradition belong to the Pure Land School, we are also reminded uh, you know, to to keep in mind as we bathe the Buddha that we are transforming the defilement of the Kalpa into an ocean-wide assembly of purity. We are transforming the defilement of views into immeasurable light of wisdom. We are transforming the defilement of afflictions into the eternal still light of peace. We are transforming the defilement of sentient beings into lotus flower transformed beings. And as we bathe the Buddha statue, 
we are transforming the defilement of limited life spins into immeasurable life. And due to COVID-19, although in Taiwan there's no lockdown and we don't have any movement restriction, still people are staying very careful. So only the venerables in the temples, they do the bathing ritual, uh, mostly by themselves without a big crowd. And the followers will then join online. They join the you know, ritual through the computer, as you can see. And many big organizations have also developed uh, the Bathing Buddha apps online so that people can do it by themselves. So that's my very brief introduction of the, you know, Bathing Buddha Festival in Taiwan. And let's hope that COVID-19 will pass very soon so that maybe one day you, you know, as the flights resume, you get to join the uh, Bathing Buddha Festival in Taiwan in person. May all beings be free from suffering. Amitabha.